Today, we are going to find the name for the ionic compound CuOH2. Now keep in mind that if you have three or more elements in your ionic compound, that means that you have at least one polyatomic ion. In this case, we have copper, oxygen, and hydrogen. So I know that I have a polyatomic in here. Now the polyatomics are never going to be on the periodic table. These are always memorized. So I wrote the one that we're going to see here. OH with a minus one charge, you should remember your charges as well, is called hydroxide. This is the hydroxide ion. So I have a polyatomic here. Here's the OH. And then because it's ionic, right, the Cu is the metal. And copper, which is Cu, should be somewhere around here on the periodic table. Now when you're naming, the metal name always stays the same. So Cu is copper. So I'm just going to write copper. And now the OH, which is the polyatomic, that number or that name always stays the same as well. So since OH is hydroxide, it's going to stay as hydroxide. But since copper is a transition metal, right, it's in this little like D block here, we have to use a Roman numeral. And the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. So I got to find out what the charge of copper was. Well, that's, that's pretty simple how to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to take the subscripts and crisscross them back up to find the charges. There was one copper and two hydroxides. So this one secretly told us that the OH was a minus one. And this two crisscrossed up to tell me that the copper was a plus two. Keep in mind that the, the front element and the metal is always going to be positive. So we have Cu with the plus two charge and OH with the minus one. Since we know that hydroxide is always a minus one charge, this checks out. And if that checks out, that means that this is the correct charge. So the charge of copper in this case is going to be a two since it was a plus two charge. And now we are all good to go. So this is your answer. So the name for CuOH2 is copper two hydroxide. Hopefully this helped guys. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you wanna help us out. Thank you so much for that. I hope you guys are studying hard and have a great day. See you later, bye-bye.